Let me take you to a place that seems completely unearthly. Life inside this cave has been isolated from the outside world for about five and a half million years. And it's noticeable. See for yourself. Because of such a long isolation, the conditions inside the Movil Cave are such that there is nowhere else on our planet. A unique ecosystem thrives there, despite the fact that there is an acute shortage of sunlight inside the cave. And the air is toxic. The cave, located a few kilometers west of the Black Sea coast in Romania, was discovered in 1986. You can visit it only if you have a special permit. In addition, the central caves are protected naturally by narrow limestone tunnels and vertical shafts. So, if you are not alien to claustrophobia, it is better not to go into this place. In the depths of the cave, the air contains two times less oxygen than outside. Instead, it contains a lot of carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide. This is not the freshest and most pleasant air that you can breathe. In addition, the cave is pitch dark. But despite, or rather, thanks to this cocktail of extremely harsh conditions, the cave has become a real gold mine for biologists. Life is thriving here. During a study conducted in 1996, scientists identified 48 species, and 33 of them were unique to this cave. Most of the creatures living in the cave are tiny, with long limbs and antennae that help them navigate in the dark. They have neither vision nor pigment, and this is logical. Why do you need to see if you live in total darkness and why do you need to be beautiful and bright if no one sees you? And now I will take you to another cave. It is no less amazing, but it looks completely different. This cave of giant crystals or crystal cave in Mexico. Giant crystals were found in the 2000th year of the mining company after the water was pumped out of the cave. Two miners saw the crystals as soon as they entered the cave. These awe-inspiring crystals are actually massive gypsum pillars hidden 300 meters underground. They are attached to the walls and floor of the hot cave. According to the shades of scientists, the crystals could have been growing for half a million years. That is why many of them are so long and wide that you can walk on them. Unfortunately, it is impossible to visit this miracle of nature now. But maybe it's for the best, because the caves of giant crystals are a dangerous place that can easily turn into a trap. For tens of thousands of years, it has been filled with groundwater. Which was forced here through the holes of the magma chamber located in the bowels of the planet. The magma under the cave kept the water hot, but over time the water temperature dropped below 58 degrees Celsius. As a result, the water began to fill with calcium and sulfate, the particles of which began to transform into gypsum. And then white crystals appeared in the cave. And since they remained underwater, they continued to grow. And by the way, you don't have to fly into space to meet a black hole. Scientists have discovered something very similar to black holes in the southern Atlantic Ocean. A black hole has such a huge gravitational pull that if something gets inside, it has no chance of getting out. Even light can't get out of a black hole. Ocean black holes are almost as powerful as their cosmic cousins, but instead of catching light, they do the same with water. Vortices in the ocean are massive whirlpools that rotate against the main current. Usually billions of tons of water are swirling in them, and most of these vortices are larger than a city. They are so powerful that nothing trapped in them can get out, but the worst thing is that you may not even notice how you get into one of them. They are so huge that you won't notice their boundaries until it's too late. When scientists began to explore ocean vortices using satellites, they discovered the boundaries of several vortices. After that, they managed to prove that from a mathematical point of view, these whirlpools. The same as mysterious black holes in space. Massive vortices are surrounded by heavy-duty barriers in which the liquid moves in a closed circle. Even water can't get out from inside these loops. That's why dense oceanic vortices play the role of huge containers. The water inside them may not be at all the same as in the ocean and the surrounding vortex. I'm not just talking about temperature. The salt content inside and outside the whirlpool is also often different. On the thin Kursk spit separating the Baltic Sea from the Gulf of Kursk, there is one of the most bizarre places on Earth. Locals call this area a dancing forest because of the unusual shape of the pines in the forest. Their trunks are tilted, twisted and curved. Of course, there are several theories as to why this could have happened. Some claim that huge amounts of positive and negative energy once collided in this place. More mundane people believe that the reason is geological. The sandy soil in this area is too unstable to keep the trees growing vertically. The most popular idea is that strong winds blowing from the water affect the shape of trees. 
In any case, the experts have not yet come to a final conclusion. And look at these underwater circles. They were first spotted in 1995 near the southern coast of Japan. Local divers called these two-meter-wide structures mysterious circles. The mystery haunted many minds for almost 16 years, until finally the culprit was caught. Imagine the surprise of the researchers when it turned out that it was a male blowfish. It takes a little over a week for a fish to build one circle, and aesthetics is obviously crucial. The male swims inside the circle, digging grooves in the sand with his fins. But that's not all. Fish also use shells and corals to decorate parts of their circles. The whole story of drawing a circle has a practical purpose. When the male fish swims, he pushes the sand to the center of the circle and creates a mound, which later serves as a nest. The next mystery on our list is in the Caribbean. There is a sinkhole near the coast of Belize. It's a big blue hole. It reaches 300 meters across and more than 120 meters deep. Once upon a time, a very, very long time ago, this hole was a cave, but then the rising waters filled it, as a result of which it collapsed on itself. The deeper you go down into the waters of the big hole, the darker it will become. There you will see many caves filled with stalactites, but it is extremely dangerous to swim in them, unless you want to get hopelessly lost. When you reach a depth of 15 meters, you will notice that the water is shimmering. This is an invisible line separating the salty upper part of the karst funnel and the freshwater abyss. Maybe you should turn back right now. Well, who knows what you might stumble upon in the murky depths. An old Amazonian legend tells of a river that was so hot it was boiling. It was believed that this was just a fairy tale, until the Peruvian geophysicist Andres Ruzo wondered if this river could be real? Experts denied such a possibility. Hot rivers do exist, but only in areas where there are volcanoes, and there are no volcanoes in the part of the country mentioned in the legend. But Andreas Ruzo was too dedicated to his cause to give up. And in the 2011 year, he finally found the river of legends. The water in it was really hot. Its temperature was 85 degrees Celsius. Not boiling water, but pretty close to that. But most of all, the researcher was shocked by the size of the river. One might think that almost boiling water is the result of the activity of an underwater hot spring, but thermal pools are always small, while the depth of the river is 6 meters, and it flows for almost 6 kilometers. And this is the only river of this kind on our planet. That's it, thank you for watching, subscribe to the channel and like it. See you in the next videos.